Hey there everyone and welcome to my favorite drugstore products video. In this video I'll be telling you guys about some of my favorite drugstore makeup products that I've had for a very long time. And these products are very affordable so even if you're starting out with makeup or just new to it, these products would work really well for you. So the first product that I'm going to mention has been a favorite for many years and it is the CoverGirl Shimmering Sands. I'm sure you've all heard about it. Um, it has a highlight shade, a lid shade, and then a crease shade. And this is pretty much foolproof. If you're in a rush and don't really want to fuss with your makeup too much, this is great to wear because it looks good on everyone and it applies really nicely. So this is a great product to start off with, especially if you're a beginner. So this has been very good for a long time and I will continue to use it for years. So the next product that I'm going to talk about has been one of my favorites for about a year and a year and a half maybe. And I don't think it's gotten enough credit. It's um, the Maybelline Lust for Blush Matte. And I love this shade. It's the one I'm wearing right now. And it is a matte shade, but really it does not feel matte. It goes on extremely creamy. And like, I wear this all the time. I've had like two tubes of this and it is just my favorite. I can't get enough of it. The next product that I'm going to mention is my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. And I'm in the shade 105 Classic Ivory. And I really do love this foundation. It reminds me a lot of the MAC Pro Longwear foundation. I also think this would work great for oilier skin tones. It does have great staying power, so I don't think it would slide too much on your face. I think it would stay pretty good all day. I do have a pretty oily T-zone, and I don't tend to have a problem with this foundation. I think it's just one of the best drugstore foundations out there. The next product that I'm going to mention is my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. It's a concealer that I've used for years and that I've really loved. Um, I think this works best on acne spots. I wouldn't really use it under my eyes just because it is so heavy. But if you do tend to break out with um, heavier concealers, I wouldn't suggest this one for you. If you don't have too sensitive to the skin or anything like that, I think that this would be a great choice for you. So the next product that I'm going to talk about is one that I keep going back to time and time again, even after using high-end mascaras and drugstore mascaras, this is still my favorite. And it's the Great Lash Mascara, and I usually get it in the blackest black. Um, and I get the waterproof version typically too, just because I have oilier eyelids, so I tend to run during the day. But um, this is my favorite and it's been my favorite for years. So for many years I've struggled with having dark circles under my eyes. And one of my favorite products that I've found to combat this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rind Eraser Dark Circles and Neutralizer. And I typically use this before my foundation just to cancel out my dark circles and to kind of even out my skin tone. And this just is the best thing that I've used for that. So I keep going back to this time and time again. This has been like my third tube. Maybe I've used so much of this stuff. And then I'll put on my foundation and then I'll use the brightening um, shade in this line to, to go under my eyes and kind of just brighten myself up. And I think that's just an amazing combination. So if you have really dark circles, this works amazing. I love it and I've used it for years. So the last product that I'm gonna mention isn't really a beauty product. It's more like a hair product, but I've been using it for a very long time and it's the Batiste Dry Shampoo, and my favorite scent is the Scent Blush. I think it's very important to use a dry shampoo instead of washing your hair every day, just so you can keep your natural oils in and keep your hair healthy, especially when you do chemically treat it like I do. I bleach my hair, so I try not to wash it every day. I try and keep it as healthy as I can, so I do enjoy using a dry shampoo to kind of keep my natural oils in and keep it as moisturized as I possibly can without washing it. This dry shampoo also comes in um, different kind of formulations. It has one for volume, and I think it has one for people with more brunette hair, so the white powder doesn't show up as much in their hair. So if you do have darker hair, this will work good for you too, because you can get the formulation that works for brunettes that shows up darker. So it won't look like you have like white powdery, gross hair. It'll look, it'll look natural. So this will work for pretty much everyone. So that is it for my drugstore favorites. And these favorites have been favorites for an extremely long time. They're products that I've used for a very long time and I've used a lot. They're a regular part of my beauty regimen. So I think that these are some of the best products in the drugstore and I think that if you're a newer person, kind of into makeup and you kind of want to experiment more, these would be great products to try out. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you liked it, please like and subscribe. Thank you, bye.